for a number of years, scientists have looked into the genetic changes and epigenetic changes that happens in the uh, cancer cells or a cells which are derived from cancer, uh, cell culture which are derived from the cancer cell line. And the first thing they saw is that a lot of tumor suppressor genes, these are a very small set of genes which are responsible for proper cell cycling. And they saw that this set of genes are actually silenced and their promoter regions are methylated. This is a very old classical way. And as I said that methylation brings gene silencing, so these genes have no transcript, no proteins. Now, so the time passed and everybody thought is it a cause phenomenon because of the disease they are methylated or because of methylated the disease has occurred. So there was a lot of controversy in this area till Steve Bellin from John Hopkins and uh, uh, Peter Jones from University of Southern California, they started working on both DNA modification and histone modification and trying a drug called 5 azar deoxycytidine. Now, this is a drug that actually can take away the methylation group on the DNA. And then once this drug is treated onto the culture cells, you will see the genes that were silenced. Now they started working again. So the genes like tumor suppressor genes which were completely silenced on some of the cancer cell line, they started working. And that gives a little confidence and concept that Epigenetics is something you can actually write on the DNA and you can erase too. So a cell is defective, you can correct it. So in, in, in a broader sense, in the cancer therapy region, if you look into the epigenetic gene silencing, actually you don't have to look at a surgical or radiation type of things. You can actually take those tumor cells and you can correct them by using an appropriate drug that can revert back the original state up to an extent where the cell is going to function in a more normal manner rather than a cancer manner. And this was something which uh, a lot of traditional uh, physicians and cancer scientists didn't believe before that till epigenetic drugs are available and been used in clinics. Uh, now there are histone deacetylase inhibitors are available in the clinic, DNA demethylases are uh, available in the clinic and which have actually made a lot of uh, patients' life pretty good. They can live longer.